Hello everybody, it's Redbeard Anubis and welcome back to LCPDFR. We are in the 22nd District with Officer Lee again and we're driving the 2016 Police Interceptor Utility. This is a very nice model. We're using the same skin pack as uh, we have been before. Vehicles have been changed up slightly to reflect more modern times, I guess you could say. And we're going to get this patrol started. Our number today is 2229. 2229, go ahead and show me 1041, 108. 2229, go ahead and show us 1097, code 3. All right, we are going to be responding to an officer requiring assistance in the district. We just got on duty, but we're going to head down there as quick as we can and try to render aid. We have a subject resisting. And the officer needs help. Twenty two twenty nine, go ahead and show us uh ten twenty three. Back down now. Whoa. What's going on? We got a guy with a gun. We got a guy with a gun. Drop the weapon. Suspect is in a vehicle. Description to follow. What the heck is going on here? Careful. Find out. Jeez. Subject pulled a gun, it seems like. We had another subject come around the building and pull a gun. And we have a subject fleeing. 2229, can we get an airship of it if available? We're headed that way. Alright, we're gonna head up and uh, see if we can get this driver under control. All right. That's great. 2229. Go ahead, show scene code four. We're going to be back 10 8. All right, we were able to uh, assist the officer with the uh, three subjects. And uh, we're going to be back out on patrol. 2229, 1097. We're going to be code three. All right, we got a call about a uh, drug deal in progress. We are going to be headed that way. Back in the same quote unquote gated community. This place is horrible down here. 2229, go ahead and show us uh, 1023. There they are. 2223, I got one running. We got one with a firearm. Ma'am, drop the gun. Reloading. Moving up. Okay, she's taken down. We're going to call out uh, EMS. 2229, can I get a 1052 my location? We're going to be on a 1070 with the second subject. All right, we're looking for that second subject. They are running, running, running. 
We don't know if they're armed either. There's that second subject. 2229, second subject has a yellow jacket, blue jeans. Looks like to be brown hair. We are headed in the back of the gated community. It's gonna be a female. Stop, LCPD, ma'am. Don't move. Hands on head. Don't move. 2229, show one taste. We're going to search her real quick. Found a weapon on her. All right, ma'am, you're under arrest. Turn around. We don't know if she was the one with the drugs. We don't know who was selling. However, we did find a weapon on her. And in uh, Liberty City, even carrying a weapon is an immediate felony. So we're going to run her back down. We're going to run her back down to the cruiser. And I'm pretty sure medics are on scene for that other subject. That's what it appears. Up. Oh, yep. They're trying to get out of here. Jeez, is somebody lost or something? All right, we're going to put on our cruise lights. And uh, she's still moving, and medics have not come yet. 2229, can I get a 1052? To the. Dispatching to Firefly Island. There we go. What is going on? I wonder if it messed up because we were we then went on foot pursuit. We have you completely surrounded. Probably. Units report a criminal fleeing a crime scene in Firefly Island. Alright, we're going to make sure that uh, this is checked out. We have the other subject in custody. We're going to transport them. Okay. That subject's going to be uh, passed away. Twenty-two twenty-nine. Go ahead and show one subject ten fifteen. We're going to be ten nineteen station with one. All right, we're going to transport this subject back to the station. And we'll see what happens when we get there. All right, we're going to drop her off to the officer here in the corrections officer and make sure she gets processed they are gonna love you in lockup what's your problem five oh turn off our cruise lights and with that 2229 go ahead and show us back 10 eight 2229, we're going to be uh, 1097 code 2. All right, we're going to be responding to, uh, we got a car in the opposite. That's weird. Anyway, uh, we're going to be responding to a disorderly male, intoxicated disorderly male, reported down here. Go, get out of the way, man. Are you serious right now? Jeez. All right, we're going to be headed to that. Where's he located? He is actually on the... Uh... Oh, my Lord. Now I understand why they're calling us out in such a hurry. 
He is on the actual expressway. Is he? Where's he at? Um, hmm. I don't see him. Is he below it? He might be below it. I don't know. It's kind of weird. All right, people, come on. Come on. All right, we're going to go back down. Oh, there he is. Oh, Jesus. All right, how do we get down there? <laughs> Trying to figure out how we can get down there and uh, help him. He looks like he's actually incapacitated. Um, hopefully this way. Actually, it looks like yes. We're going to be actually going off-road here. All right, we're going to kill our lights and put on our cruise lights here. Jeez. Good thing we got the Explorer, too. Twenty-two, twenty-nine. Go ahead and show us uh, 10, 23. All right. Looks like the subject is down and not moving. I'm not even sure if I can get a medic here. We're going to try, though. I wonder if he was intoxicated and fell off the bridge. Because the, cause the original report was that he was actually on the bridge itself, so that could be what happened. That's a long fall. Waiting for the medic to uh, show up down here. There he is. That one wasn't as bad. He's dead. Heavily, heavy internal organs damage. Yep, he was intoxicated and fell off the bridge. That's sad, but happens. It is what it is. 2229. Uh, scene code 4. We're going to be back. 10 8. All right, we're going to head back to the road here. And uh, get back out on patrol, see what else we can find in today's shift. Already been a crazy one, but that's the 22nd district for you. All right, we're going to be pulling over that land stalker that just went through that red light. Coming back is uninsured. Jesus. 2229, 10, show me 1011, Black Land Stalker. We're going to be East Broker Deuce Expressway, just outside of Beachwood City. Can I get a 1028 on that vehicle? 1028 is coming back, is uninsured. We're going to go talk with the subject and see what the deal is. Mind how you go there. Where, what are you doing? Hey. How you doing? I'm uh, Officer Lee with the Liberty City Police Department. Um, partner, what, what, what? Anyway, uh, can I please see your driver's license and registration proof of insurance? The reason why I'm pulling you over today is because you went through that red light back there, my friend. Yep. Right. Also, you got rear end damage. Someone hit you and drove off? Uh, all right. All right, sir. We're going to call in your uh, ID here. Gaylord Henry. 2229. Can I get a uh, 1027, 1029 to Gaylord Henry? Oh my lord, have mercy. Three citations, a vow license, but he has three active warrants. Alright, sir, go ahead and step out. 
Oh man, go ahead, stop right there. Got anything on you that's gonna poke me, stick me, piss me off? No? Alright. I believe you, but you need to put your hands on your head, interlace your fingers. And his vehicle just despawned. Gotta love GTA 4. Let's see if he's got anything illegal on him. Got nothing. Alright, man. Hands up, face away from me. Come on. There we go. Yep. Sir, I am detaining you. I'm sorry, I'm placing you under arrest for your act of warrants. You have three of them. You're also going to be getting a citation for the traffic light violation. All right, so we're going to give him a citation for the traffic light violation, and we're going to be transporting him. People often wonder why I uh, would do that. And that's because you want to solidify your probable cause while making arrest. Yeah, he has warrants. But a defense attorney could argue, well, you just arrested him for his warrants. What led up to and why did you pull my client over? So it's better to um, write the citation showing that this is why we pulled your client over, not just because we knew who he was and he had warrants. Which... Someone could argue that that would be valid enough, but for a traffic stop, it's better to solidify your probable cause with the sense of, yeah, I pulled over your client for running a traffic light. He created, he uh, did a minor traffic offense, which then in turn led me to arrest him for his act of warrants. That's just my two cents on that. All right, we're going to be pulling into What's the, hold up? the back of the precinct here, and we got. A gentleman walking back here, okay. We're going to drop him off to the corrections officer as well as uh, the officer. Please don't do that. Hmm. And that subject has been taken care of and dropped off. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for today's patrol. I hope you did enjoy it. And honestly, to tell you the truth, I am definitely liking the uh, 2016 Ford Explorer with this livery. I think it looks amazing. Let me know what you think of this vehicle in the comments section below, and we'll see you on the next time. If you haven't already, please subscribe and make sure to like that video. Thanks and have a great one.